are you looking for the shortcut? What's up socials, happy Social Thursday. Today I wanna to talk to you about a question I got from one of the biggest fans of the channel, Mr. Brian Dane. Brian sent me an email and it said, hi Amy, it's your stalker, Brian Dane here. I have a quick question for you. Do you know of a free WordPress plugin that will automatically tweet new posts and maybe even post them on other platforms? There's one plugin that I actually really like. It's not necessarily for new content, although it can be. It's called Called tweet old post and what it does is it helps you revive all the content that you've written or produced over time and make sure that you keep promoting it even if you don't do it manually you can make settings and let the plugin know that it should send to this Twitter account this often all the different posts within a certain time frame or over the lifetime of the blog it's completely up to you but personally I use a third-party client completely out of WordPress to make sure that my content gets tweeted right away Brian I'm surprised you may not remember the video that I made about IFTTT, which is if this then that. It's an amazing site that brings together the APIs of different platforms and lets you create recipes for things that happen and what should take place automatically therefore. For instance, you could put your RSS feed in of your blog and hook it up with your Twitter account so that if anything new shows up on that feed, it will go to your Twitter, however you formatted it in IFTTT. There's actually even a WordPress login in IFTTT, so that's actually how I have mine set up. I have my blog login in there and I have my Twitter login in there so that whenever I have a new post, then it'll go automatically. I've never really trusted my RSS feed, especially now with the podcast, it's kind of all screwed up. So if you subscribe to Savvy Sexy Social RSS, it's a little bit screwy right now, which is why I just depend on WordPress to deliver the information directly to IFTTT so that it automatically tweets out upon hitting publish. I do recommend that you use this for a lot of different platforms, however, it's not going to work well on many. I've told you guys many times that if you auto post something from a third party to Facebook, it's just not going to perform well on an average basis. Facebook will totally move it down in the newsfeed, so you might as well not even try and post manually. There is a scheduler there now, so it's not like you have to do it in the moment. LinkedIn, however, is one that I have hooked up directly to IFTTT. I probably only log into LinkedIn once a week, and all of my content is automatically tweeted there, and it seems like I'm there a little bit more often, four times a week actually. And then you can experiment with other platforms, but you really need to see how these third-party clients are being treated to make sure that it's actually working for you. Twitter is 100% chronological for the most part. There are some tweaks here and there, but it's not going to be biased against a third-party platform. Work smarter, not harder, but remember that not every easy way out is going to be worth the gain in time. One thing I hope you'll take away from this video is not only check to see how you can post your blogs automatically to a couple of different social networks, but see what else IFTTT can do for you. I actually have a text that comes to me every morning and night telling me what I can expect for the weather. There's even a recipe that you can text to the IFTT account and they will call your phone. So if you're ever in a situation where you're like, I need to get out of this conversation, you can do it. And there's a ton more over there. So definitely check out the recommended recipes, what other people are doing, and just experiment with your own accounts. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you sign up for Amy's Elite so you don't miss a beat. The link to that email opt-in is in the annotation below, also in the description. And that's for you to get closer to me, be able to email me and ask me your questions and make sure you don't miss anything that happens on the channel or on the podcast. Speaking of, there's a new episode of the Marketing Lifestyle Show coming out tomorrow, of course, on iTunes or Stitcher or your preferred podcasting platform. So make sure you check that out and I will see you tomorrow for Marketing Lifestyle Friday.